Yes, uh, please. Everybody, you're welcome again. Yet another session of Para Sports Introduction to India. And thank you, Sports Authority of India. And thank you, uh, the Para Sports Badminton Federation. And uh, I'm really, really happy that we and with everyone, even I am learning the various sports that can be played in disability. And they are very much mainstream sports. And it is creating history and making India proud. Uh, we have Rajiv Tukral, sir. He is an invigilator from Sports Authority of India. And uh, we also have greetings yeah. coming our way from a very special person in the field of badminton, especially. Since this is a badminton uh, uh, webinar, can we have the video, please? The person needs no introduction. It's wonderful that Sai is conducting these webinars and uh, to have an athlete like Deepa Malik actually part of it to inspire the para athletes is something really wonderful. I've been very fortunate to watch the Para Badminton World Championships where Sindhu had won, but also the fact is that some of the best moments of the tournaments were from the matches at the Para Games. I was witness to the match which Pramod had won and the feeling of India being on top and the fervor, the flag, the national pride, I think was to the fore at that event. To all my wonderful para badminton athletes, their attitude towards the sport and life have really been greatly impressed. And I would say they're phenomenal for the sport. They are a huge inspiration for all of us. I think uh, they are a huge um, encouragement. They are a huge jewels in our uh, badminton world. Thank you very much to Sai, to Deepa, and to the entire badminton, para badminton fraternity. And I wish them all the very best. Come out of this safely. I think uh, it's important that we all stay home, stay safe and all of you take care and uh, when you come out ensure that you take the right precautions all the very best to all of you thank you so that was pulela gopichand wishing um, all of us good and healthy times during the covid and reminding us to keep our precautions going even after the lockdown is over so now i formally start the session and uh, I'm going to be introducing our speaker for the day that's Gaurav Khanna he oh my god his resume is so long he has been working so hard in the field of badminton and especially para badminton uh, he is a central government official with Indian Railways qualified international badminton empire referee and match control of badminton badminton association of India International Badminton Coach, Asian Deaf Badminton Team, Former National Coach, Indian Deaf Badminton Team, Current National Coach, Indian Para Badminton Team, Resource Persons for Ministry of Youth and Affairs and Sports for Government Scheme of Sports and Games for Disability, Maya Certified Master Trainer for Sports and Games for the Disabilities, Post Authority of India's Nominated Expert for Indian Para Badminton Team Selection for BWF World Championship, Sai nominated core committee expert to draft policy for para sports in India under Mayas. Member of Sai Kelo India talent identification team for para badminton and member of Olympic Committee of India for para badminton. And as a player, I think he's former UP captain to represent UP team in national championships, former university captain to represent university team in all India inter university championships, former Northeastern Railway team captain. And oh my God, this, this is. And there are more pages. So <laughs> we are very, very proud and we are very happy to have Gaurabji here. Most welcome. And I will hand over uh, the, this thing. But before I hand it over to you, I, at some point of time, will have to leave the webinar today. I have another commitment. But on record, I want to welcome Suhas 
and I he might be able to join. He's a very busy man because uh, currently he is DM of Noida, and that's how proud we are of him. He's world number two para badminton player. We also yes, formally, formally welcome Shri Ramji Bahadur Shreshta. Excuse me, आप लोग बोल रहे हैं तो mute रखिए please. Um, when we, Gaurav ji, when you are speaking, you have to keep it mute, mute if you are not. So let me start again. I would welcome Suhas, world number two para badminton player. He is also the district magistrate of Noida. I give a hearty welcome to Shri Ramji Bahadur Shreshta. He is chairman para badminton, badminton Asia, president Nepal, badminton association, and secretary Nepal Olympic Association. This is beautiful to have him join uh, an Indian webinar with us. Hearty welcome, Shri Anandeshwar Pandey ji, Treasurer Indian Olympic Association and Secretary Handball Association of India. What an honor to have you among us for the Para Sports webinar. And uh, Shri Prabhakar Rao ji, Chairman Para Badminton, Badminton Association of India. So thank you all. You have been the pillars of the growth of Para Badminton and someone who are cheering us. Supporting us, and now I hand over for the presentation and the informative webinar that we are going to learn about para badminton today. Uh, Gaurav Khanna, sir, please take over, and we're looking forward to your interesting uh, session and the webinar. Right. Thank you so much, Deepa ji. You are such a legend, and uh, whatever the achievement, what you have, these are the milestones of each and every sports person, as each and every para sports person of the India. And definitely, you are a source of inspiration for each one of us, whether me or anyone in India. So, thank you, thank so, you much. so much for starting this meeting for us. And uh, uh, as 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 I know that you have to go after some time to attend another meeting. So let me also brief you that it, at any good point of time, uh, Mr. Ramji, who is the chairman of Badminton Asia for Para Badminton, uh, he is just uh, struggling to join with the internet. And uh, we have already with us Mr. Prabhakar Rao, the chairman of Para Badminton for Badminton Association of India. So I am sure that as soon as he'll join, he'll just text me so that I can come to know. And uh, Sandeep will help us to show him, introduce him by face. And uh, Anandeshwar ji, uh, I think he's here. So uh, can you can you recognize Sandeep? Can you uh, identify Anandeshwar ji? If he has checked in and uh, joined with the same name, we'll be able to trace. Right. If his but, um, huh? Go, bolo jol se. Right. So okay. Anyway, I'll just I'll just get back to you on this. Phone kar lo, baat kar lo, agar friend kar. All right. What I uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, thanks each and every person who has joined here for this wonderful meeting. Of course, it's a forum where we can discuss more about the para badminton sports. And wherever and whenever there is a discussion of para badminton sports, it will help in the progress of that sports and the spreading of awareness, which is very very important for the development of any sports. And but let me just uh, do this. Uh, uh, convey my heartiest thanks to I know that there are BWF assessors and uh, who wish to become uh, a para badminton uh, a technical official and uh, at a higher level I know they are here but they want to attend this meeting as us as a just uh, listener so I just welcome thanks madam thanks sir you are here I, I know that uh, a person from uh, Paralympic Asian Paralympic Committee, the, the person who is looking after the correspondence of Asian Paralympic Committee, being Indian, she is also here. Thank you so much, Priyanka. Uh, let me also thank, give my thanks to a few of the SAI officials. Many of the SAI officials are here, including the top uh, officials. They are here. Thank you so much for joining us and encouraging us. We have with us from uh, two persons from Brazil. Uh, uh, Bangladesh, Russell from Bangladesh, Fabio from Brazil, uh, and from Maldives, Nepal, and of course Malaysia. Thank you so much, friends, for being here. And uh, we also have the national and the international technical officials of Badminton Association of India, who has personally texted me, and they have also joined here. I can see a few of the names here. Thank you so much. And of course, the office bearers of various sports associations. You ha all have come here. Your Presence here will be definitely a morale boosting show for us. Thank you so much for joining here. Let me start with this meeting uh, formally. First of all, 
I'm aware that uh, uh, the participants from abroad also here. So let me uh, have it in a in a in a bilingual bilingual language, and let me uh, use more English. And wherever you find any problem in understanding the terms or whatever I communicate, please feel free to inform so that I can also convey in Hindi. अगर आपको कोई भी बात समझ में नहीं आएगा, please आप टेक्स्ट करिएगा और I will also communicate the same Hindi में भी मैं आपको उसको बताऊंगा. Right, but most of the participants, I know, I know that they are uh, well versed with English, so I don't feel any problem as of now. The question arises: Why we have this webinar? Why Sai has taken an initiative to involve para sports to have a this online forum? See, I know we everybody know that whatever the verse is there, whatever the problems are there, we are always living a life with a positive attitude. we know that everything which is a curse will get over on some day and we will be back into the track so this is the case for the sports persons too we very well know that on one day things will be over and we are positive that we have to report back on court definitely when we will be on court nobody is going to excuse us that we have not practiced hard when there was a lockdown it would ultimately be the winner who will be the champion and in order to be the champion there has to be some homeworks which has to be performed at any conditions any circumstances and any of the tough situations nobody is going to listen to these complaints so keep working hard and be positive that worse is going to get over very soon sai whether national sports federations or anyone what is our purpose for a long term we are not looking for the short term gain everyone is searching for a long term target say 2024 2028 current current olympics it has been postponed due to some circumstances but that will go on and we are going to excel in that event but we need to search the new talents to have a foresighted vision today so that we can have a good stuff to represent the country and to get medal for the country for tomorrow that is i am talking about 2024 2028 3032 30, any of the olympics for that the youngsters are required now so that we work upon them and you guys who are here attending this seminar with us will be getting more information about this wonderful sports of para badminton so that you can work as our branches and you can spread you around search for the new talents inform about them to us or start working on them to make a pearl for india a medal winner for the future india so you all are important for us and thanks for coming we also want to increase our database today you very well know that indian population there is some percentage who are not who are differently able i am not going to tell anyone disabled so far as i have seen i have encountered with the sports persons here everyone is bahut zinda dil hain they never complained about their disability or anything like that in fact they are more more competent than any other persons their confidence their enthusiasm their spirit towards sports is marvelous unbeatable unmatchable kabhi mujhe mera koi player complain karta nahi dikhai diya hai i am so privileged to be with such wonderful fraternity they are my family members my brothers my sisters my everything and i am fortunate that i am with them today the rise of para badminton i am going to share with you from where we have reached to which location but this location and this improvement is not been done alone there was a number of persons involved in that it's a and the major part of this development goes to the players they are the wonderful persons who never hitch who never be self centered about their personal things they are concerned with others i have been a i am also a technical officials a qualified technical officer international technical official for badminton i have been to various elite level international competitions i have seen the players of elite level in that includes Uh, very closely that includes the lind and uh, li chongwi or anyone you say but i am also a witness to a para badminton event that is also right from the grassroots level to the higher level and the wonderful family structure what i have seen here i am the person who can easily compare 
it's not there anywhere it's only the para badminton structure it's the para badminton competition and the para sports which can deliver you such type of spirit of unity and strongness togetherness that's only para sports can give you because everyone is there is I, I understand that sports is the place where there is always a competition between one person and another person. But in para sports, if something will happen to you, doesn't matter that player belong to which country, doesn't matter that player belong to which category, doesn't matter that player belong to which gender or which race, that player will definitely come to help you whenever you ask for help, and that help would be from, direct from the herd. That is the real quality of the para athletes. Now, let me come to the structure of para badminton which is the subject this one hour to be to let you very frankly that this one hour is very insufficient uh, can 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 sandeep anybody uh, i i am sharing this image it is uh, can you see the image also uh, is it coming just want to confirm no sir we are not getting the pdf or your uh, right. slide is not on the screen right i have not shared it it means right i'll do this meanwhile let me make a request again we see a lot of people joining. We have crossed the 250 mark. Uh, please leave your attendance in the chat box, your name, the place from where you're joining and your designation. Uh, it's very important for us to have the attendance. Thank you. We can see the image now, sir. Right. So in this today's webinar, we are going to cover various aspects. This is a short time, obviously. But definitely we are going to have more meetings on this para badminton because uh, this is just a basic sort of structure. I mean to say it's the skeleton which I can brief you about para badminton so that you can have some knowledge. But never mind, whatever the queries you have during this seminar and whatever the, uh, the different subjects you want to cover up in the next meeting, definitely we are going to take a different se seminar for that. So don't worry about that. Just put your, as Deepaji told, please put your details there so that we come to know we have come to know that what type of your queries are and of course we can organize a separate so some answer. drawings are coming on the uh, yeah. slide yes drawings are coming right now. i think some button is getting pressed yes. Many, mine is don't both hands are here <laughs> anyway anyway in yeah, this uh, webinar stop, we are going to please stop sir stop sharing please I think may I stop karu? Ah, sir, please. Uh, somebody is uh, some host can do only. I'll I'll just share again so that we can see. Right. So in this uh, today's uh, subject, we'll discuss about uh, a few things about, we'll just brief about the introduction, little history about the para, para badminton. We'll tell you about the overview of this sports regarding its classes. We'll talk about the governing bodies, international and the nationals. We'll talk about the classes. We'll talk about the combinations. We'll talk about the major competitions of para badminton. We will also proudly discuss about that para badminton is a, was a part of Tokyo Olympics which is now deferred and it will be in 2021. We'll also discuss about the major factors of para badminton. Yes, I accept that this is a small period and it's difficult to discuss in detail about each entry cases inside, but definitely I would like to solve your queries as, 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 as possible, as far as possible on this. Uh, uh, let me brief you because this subject, the wonderful thing which a federation or a, uh, sports fraternity will come out uh, as a result of outstanding performance is by way of these Arjuna awardees. Yes, we have a wonderful list of Arjuna awardees. All these are uh, from para badminton. So we have no. Pramod, we have Parul, and have Manoj uh, and Rajkumar. Manoj. Wow. This and Rajkumar. Very nice. It's so wonderful to. And uh, you will be very proud to know that in last four years, since 2015, we have attained 313 international medals in PWF recognized events. And these are gold. This includes silver and 
125 bronze, 96 gold, 92 silvers, and 125 bronze in last four years. Right. Another short one. Don't look uh, Deepaji, uh, may I request you, uh, uh, if uh, because Mr. Uh, Ramji, uh, Chairman, Para Badminton of Badminton Asia, and uh, uh, the Treasurer of Indian Olympic Association, Mr. Anandeshwar Pandeji, uh, both are here. So, can you so please... can we share uh, the screen with them uh, once? Uh, Sandy, can we have so? Sandy, can I share you the Ramji number? Ramji Bahadur Shrestha, sir, on the main screen once? No, I can't find him. And the name. Uh, Ramji, uh, uh, can you please uh, just text hello or yeah, something in the chat box so that we can know or Anand ji, please. Or at least write your name because um, uh, if, yes. you're, if you're... Uh, yeah, Ramji, Ramji here. Uh, Ramji yeah, yeah. is here. Yeah. I got him. Got him? So Ramji uh, can uh, can give a little blessing of, uh, with, with the permission of Chairman, uh, our yes. President. Ramji, uh, Deepa Malik ji, our, uh, uh, all the president of uh, Paralympic Committee of India, which is the National Sports Federation and the nodal agency for the para sports in India, or an affiliate of Asian Paralympic Committee and International Olympic Committee. And she is also uh, Padma Shri, Arjun Awardee, and of course, the highest award of India, that is Khel Ratan Awardee. Oh, and uh, uh, Ramji, so uh, about... <laughs> I'm just a moderator here, and uh, I am just a host and I welcome you on behalf of uh, the Sports Authority of India, sir. Thank you for joining the webinar, but I still can't see, sir, on the screen. I can see. Uh, He's on the screen, man. He can speak now, sir. Ramji Bahadur, sir. Okay, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm yeah, I'm very happy to be here as a chairperson of uh, the Para Badminton. Now, uh, India is doing very good uh, in uh, the badminton sports, uh, especially the para badminton. And uh, I'm, I'm the, uh, one of the member, uh, as a, this, um, I'm here, I'm very happy. Uh, congratulations. Uh, now, we are also doing uh, some uh, good programs. Uh, we go together. Thank you, Gaurav, especially. I, I'd like to thank Mr. Gaurav. And, um, and how's how's lockdown in Nepal? Sir? We're following the same uh, lockdown. Same, yeah, same like the, the whole world. We have full lockdown, but um, still, uh, it's not uh, going a worse situation in Nepal. But um, but a long a long way to go because the test is very very low. So it's still uh, no casualties here. But uh, hope uh, this pandemic will uh, go soon. Thank, thank, you, thank, you thank, you thank you very much. Thank you, Ramji Bahadur Shrestha, sir, for joining us. What an honor yeah. to have you across borders and yet one with us. Thank you, sir. And, yeah, yeah. And Anandeshwar Pandey, sir, is also here. Can we take two minutes to take his blessings? Can we share the screen uh, with Sandeep? You search Anandeshwar ji, or uh, I can also tell uh, about uh, Ramji Shrestha, sir, uh, that uh, he's also uh, three times national champion of Nepal for singles and both doubles. And uh, now Badminton Asia is planning to take over the para sports of all over Asia. And uh, it was proposed that uh, they would organize Asian Para Badminton Championship in Thailand in the month of November, which is probably uh, will differ. So Mr. Ramji is the person behind uh, that show. That's very nice, sir. Very, very nice. And it's for me personally an amazing experience to meet uh, uh, officials from international bodies. Uh, that will support us also in India. Thank you so much. Sandeep, yeah. you get it? Yes sir, Anand Raju is doing it. Okay, I'll tell you. I called Nilesh. In the meantime, we'll start this... Uh, start with the sorry. presentation, sir. Because right. if your logging in ID and gadget is not your name, then it's to identify it. Yes, please go ahead, sir. Right. So we had uh, 313 medals and uh, we want to share about this journey and uh, I can also share with you the, this chart, medal chart uh, for the last four years and how we have earned 319 medals in just last four years. That includes Asian Games, that includes World Championship, that includes IWAS Games and Para Games. So I would be happy to just uh, proudly share with you that this wonderful achievement of para badminton athletes at the international world circuit. This is the graph which can easily make you visible about the rise and the growth of para badminton in the country. 
two zero one four. The red uh, represent the silver, and the green one represent the bronze, and the yellow one represent the gold. And you can see in two zero one four the stage, and two zero one five the stage, two zero one six, and you can see the steep rise in the gold medal graph, and that uh, that has rested up, not rested upon. It is because two zero two zero we had we are now in lockdown situation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, just in two months there was only two events: Peru Para Badminton International and Brazil Para Badminton International. And that performance, which is on the left left corner, that represents the performance of this two zero two zero. And we would surely believe that had the things uh, would have taken place in a right way, we would have definitely crossed this area. Yeah, lining field start ho gaya hai. So uh, Sandeep. Uh, if you can ah, sir, that. that's why we keep hosting with Sandeep only. That that yeah. these uh, we don't get these experiences. Sandy, how can we remove these? Then he had, he has to stop the screen, share the screen. Right, it's okay. I'll do that. I'll share again. But somebody else is doing. It's not uh, my from my side. I knew, sir. That's okay. It's okay. No problem. So uh, just the time is uh, to let you know about a brief detail about the timeline of para badminton. I, it's 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 not a good time we have that we can detail about the basic oh, elite history, right? It's the 1996. There was a badminton disabled sports association was formed. No problem. No, let, let, I'll, I'll just carry on. Uh, that association was formed, and uh, in 2011, the para badminton was integrated to badminton world federation. In 2012, there was a new classification structure. I heard that there were very various classification structure that there was also sitting badminton that time, and there were various classes. But BWF tried as far as possible to link with the able body badminton, not to have too much differentiation, not to have too much complexities, and they have just merged the classes and brought them into a professional platform, and which is definitely doing our very well. And there were amended competition regulations which were implemented in 2013 and the structure started and we were the proud part of Paralympic sports for Tokyo 2.0.0 well announced in 2014. So that was a wonderful achievement which uh, which is definitely we can say a cre good credit to PWF on that. And uh, we will also discuss further about the Tokyo uh, structure. We can have an overview that uh, what is para badminton basically. First of all, let me clear that badminton is a similar sports which you used to play in your house, in your gallery, in your everywhere, wherever you play, in your terrace, everywhere that you play. It's the same badminton game. The difference is it is being played by the players with physical impairment. So the scoring system in para badminton is the same which is there in able body. So there is no difference at all. We play with the modification of classes and this thing. Now, let me brief about the para badminton sports. Para badminton sports, as I told you, with the physical impairment, this sports is having all sorts of championship, including the world championship, uh, charging camera. including the world championship, it has the Asian championship, we have Asian games, we have now Paralympic sports also, we are the part of Paralympic sports. So para badminton is no less than any other elite sports, which is a recognized event of either international paralympic committee or world level committee or any any or at any level it is a now a uh, recognized sports at all level the governing international body of para badminton is badminton world federation which is a very professional body we have five continents badminton asia confederation of africa badminton europe badminton oceania and pan america and we have 194 member association all around the world, which are the affiliate bodies of Badminton World Federation. And the Badminton World Federation is doing a very good job in promoting badminton in all these countries. And for Badminton Asia that I discussed, Mr. Ramji is there for this Badminton Asia. He's the chairman of Para Badminton and he has the responsibility of the national governing body is the, the International Paralympic Committee, uh, which is the nodal agency for para sports around the world, which is the uh, uh, which is the uh, authorized body coordinating with the International Olympic Committee, and both together are organizing this wonderful and the elite sports of Olympics. And now 
Paralympic is proudly a part of Olympic Games. The Badminton World Federation is the specialized body for badminton in the world to look after para badminton now. And they are doing definitely a wonderful job. At the national level, we have Paralympic Committee of India, which is the apex body for para sports for all the para sports in the country. And the Badminton Association of India, which is the specialized body for badminton and looking after this para sports in this thing. And the Paralympic Committee of India and Badminton Association of India both are working together in the same platform to make a rise of para badminton in the country. Uh, we, as I told you about that, we are the part of World Championship also. And uh, as just to briefly inform you that uh, the Basel, where you have seen that we have won 12 medals and in para badminton in naval body also uh, we have won two medals and but in para badminton we have won 12 medals and the next korea is our destination uh, sorry korea was the last uh, world championship which was held and the next world championship still we are waiting for the dates to be announced however the olympic is is in the intervening segment this para world championship uh, is an event just less than the uh, Olympic events where all the countries there were 42 countries participated in the event and it was a wonderful show and this was the first time when Paralympic International Paralympic Committee under guidelines BWF organized the same in the same platform at the same venue same place with same dates and this event has given a benchmark to the para sports the Asian para games is also a multi sports event which the Asian Paralympic Committee organizes and it's a four yearly event and it's an adoptive game for the Paralympic Committee and it's also being organized just following the able body para games able body games there is a Asian para games and you very well know that this year we have won a lot of medals in para games and badminton was the one which yeah. has started the yeah. first yeah. medal yeah. from yeah. India. Yeah. And, and the, the last medal was the also Indian medal. Na, meeting mein jake, I, can, I, can hear, host, host I can hear the voice. Hai. Hai. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, just let me brief you about uh, the Olympic Games, which is the milestone and the I think I think it's, it's the dream of every sports person. Whenever he starts playing, even if at a beginning level, the Tokyo Paralympic was a dream for every para badminton athlete. And we are curiously waiting for all this curse to be over very soon so that, that the athletes can go and report back on the court. And since this, it was the first time that para badminton being included, 90 slots were given to this 14 medal events. And the wheelchair categories were also involved in that. There were standing players, there were all type of players. And there was a structure which was defined by the Badminton World Federation. Likewise, we have Olympic year started for the able body. We also have the Olympic year started for the para body. So in no way it's different from able body structure. I am just sharing you a event structure that like, like you can see that the blue ones are the uh, wheelchair courts. And the green one are the standing courts. This way we have a big wonderful hall and the capacity. And normally this is the first day a picture of the first day event. Otherwise, as soon as we reach to the final, our crowd following is also very smart and very crowded. This is the structure of our final event. So this is just to give you an aura about para badminton. It is no less than uh, able body sports. This was the wonderful scene of a dreamland it is the olympic center where the paralympic well, sukant kadam if i may interfere sukant is asking a question any uh, update on qualification of 2020 sukant sukant has uh, written this in the chat box right. and he wants he's just asked this i think um right. 2020 tokyo and 2021 ki baat kar rahe hai, so yes. ye ek so let us hear some good news on this right uh, eight minutes. So, Kant, I'll just take you back. Uh, uh, Deepaji, first, I, let, allow me to request you to take Anandeshwar Pandey ji. Uh, he already texted me, Anandeshwar Pandey, Treasurer, Indian Olympic Committee. So, can you please uh, take him on board? 
सुकांत तभी देख जस्ट गेट बैक टू यू हाँ जी उन्होंने की आनंद अपना नाम लिख के मैसेज किया है टेक्स्ट किया है सर उनको कही ना गैलेक्सी जे फाइव प्राइम लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गैलेक्सी जे फाइव सो हाउ डू वी फाइंड हिम अपना वीडियो ऑन करने के लिए बोलेंगे वीडियो ऑन कर देंगे अपना आनंदेश्वर जी आप अगर वीडियो ऑन करेंगे तो हम आपको देख पाएंगे वीडियो ऑन है मेरा ऑफ द ओलंपिक एंड एज सुकांत आज द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द अपडेट ऑफ टू जीरो टू जीरो द बैडमिंटन वर्ल्ड फेडरेशन इज ऑलरेडी इन टी वन जे फाइव प्राइम Ma'am, sir is not opening the her video. There is a video. Yes. We have traced him, but he has to uh, open his video camera. I'm asking to ask, ask to start his video. Okay. ठीक है वो बोल रहे हैं वो फोन पे बोल रहे हैं आप just will continue. Okay. So uh, Sukant, uh, regarding two zero two zero, yes, I understand. Sukant is the player who is currently uh, world number three, and he is also one of the probable to qualify for uh, Paralympics. and of course uh, we have other players also who are also who have also done well in this but sukant is also very prime in the race recently in peru para badminton international he has defeated the world number 1 player in straight games and he is doing well definitely his concern is very much legitimate and that is the concern of each and every athlete who is willing to participate and to win medal for the country in paralympic games sukant the thing is uh, this is an update which which cannot be treated as official because we have not received any official intimation either for from international paralympic committee or from badminton world federation regarding that however we are in close touch unofficially with the officials who have informed that there soon will be uh, a, a, a new terminology decided for this uh, qualification which can be anything but definitely in the interest of all players that's what they have responded so wait be patient and don't stop working at home be ready that this worlds will be over soon and you will be participating in the olympic games so don't worry at all thank you so much so deepa ji uh, definitely ye to bahut acha concern hai sare players ka concern hai and i i believe ki ye around the world concern hai this is not a concern from india and in other sports also i think the things will be there because many of them are already qualified and many were supposed to qualify but since sukant has raised this topic i am pleased to inform you i am proud to inform you that as per the regulations framed by the badminton world federation i can say that the five of my athletes are very clear to qualify in paralympics and there are two more who will definitely come in and that would include to finger cross seven persons from india to qualify for paralympics this is definitely a wonderful achievement of the para sports in india yes. so the thing is wait and watch and don't lose hope very soon be positive very soon the things will be over and you will be back on court so i was just briefing about the structure of this uh, paralympic games and beyond so i have announced that uh, 2014 it was a part of uh, announced uh, part of uh, paralympic games and that would be held in uh, tokyo and uh, 90 athletes were supposed to qualify for the same and the guidelines were given to the Uh, national sports federations in 2018 and our qualification period started on 31st december 2018 i think that is the date where the qualification structure of able body also started and that jo 12 15 mahine ka qualification period chala and we had 13 announced events from badminton world federation for that qualification and for each event there was some ranking marks the way the in the same way that we have in able body event and 
each athlete has to earn a certain points in order to and to be the number one. Fortunately, I can say at this former forum because be, uh, being being sports authority of India, country is concerned. The norms, the way it has been made, there are few more categories we have where we have a very strong players with us and definitely we would have made a mark. But unfortunately, those events are not the part of Paralympic Games now. But next time, we believe that uh, Mr. Ramji will be, many, many dignitaries will be attending the meeting, Deepaji will be attending. So we would definitely be wanting that our, uh, our leaders, our representatives definitely will put to the genuine forum so that we can have more events in further for Olympic Games so that we can have more to be qualified from the country. These are the events, let me brief you, which are the part of uh, Paralympic Games. Uh, that is the WH1 means the wheelchair 1, wheelchair 2, SL3, SL4, SU5, SH6, singles and doubles event. There, these were the events which were the part of uh, Paralympic Games for 2020, now 2021. These are the six classes. Now the major factor started for which most of them are here and what we want you to know about this skeleton. Whenever you word, come to the world of para badminton, you must know these terminologies and what are the integrated factors. Yes, however, the time is very short and this is a technical subject. It needs a qualified Badminton World Federation classifier to inform you intricately about each class. However, superficially, I can brief you that which class contain what type of regulations and what would be the uh, basic differentiation difference between these classes. Let me brief you about this wheelchair one category. This picture is uh, 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 an ex-army person then. Uh, in a fight and he got some injury and now he is uh, playing wonderful para badminton and in world championship he has defeated uh, uh, the world number one players all, player also and his name is Prem Ale. So ex-army person obviously uh, uh, looking and listening for an army person it, it, we are filled with a joy and proud so proudly saying that. So in this class this is a basically uh, a more impairment class where the trunk function and the lower part Deepaji is also very much well versed with this subject, but uh, let me tell you superficially that uh, this part, this, they, they have more impairment, that tongue function and limb both have some problem and it's difficult for them to do. They have, they are normally doing everything very proudly on this wheelchair and very successfully. No dependency or anyone, they are doing everything on their <coughs> own. The, the, now I am telling you about the court structure for this wheelchair one category. Wheelchair one category, we have this half court play and the service area is just below, before the uh, second line. The short service line and below service line, the service area and afterwards there is a full court to be played. That blue one represents you, the full playing area. And this is the service area for wheelchair class. I would also like to share you a video for this uh, wheelchair, but I'm not sure that how much good it would be going. But let, let, let you have a brief idea on that. I, I would be happy to share you on that. I can, I can see Prem Ale, sir. He is here from PRC. Achha, Prem hai. Very good. Prem, hai. Prem, aap hathe la de. You're on the, yes, Prem is there and I'm very happy to meet uh, army soldiers. Wonderful. Thank you, Prem, for that wonderful performance. Chaliye, sir. Gaurav sir, take over. Ah, I'm just sharing the screen. Yes. Uh, sharing the screen for this. Sir, you have to stop this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. ah. This is the video which I can uh, show you that uh, two girls are playing of, uh, they both are WH1 category and uh, you can see the market. Yeah, I'm not sure that yeah, it totally depends upon your internet speed that how much uh, smoothly you are see seeing this or you have got some buffering, but at least you can have a general idea that what is a wheelchair WH1 playing structure. Is it coming good? Yes, sir. Right, so I'll just proceed on next.
so let me brief you about uh, the another uh, this class this is wheelchair 2 class this is the class where the players is having minimal impairment i have a good trunk function but uh, the lower part is not working working so this is the category little better than the first one that comes under ws2 category the rules for the court are same for this and uh, of course i forget to inf uh, inform you that the doubles game is totally normal like able body players minus the short service area only this area is not being considered rest other full area is for the doubles player and once you get the opportunity to see a doubles wheelchair game you will definitely put your fingers between your teeth i'll assure you that it's such a excited game it's a very good man machine coordination it's a very full coordination very wonderful coordination of a player see you can imagine you must have played badminton in your life but if you, i'm talking about the standing persons ram ji aap bhi sochega aap hum logo ne khela hai kitna badminton har jagah par just think over everyone ki sitting on a wheelchair you have to coordinate the moves shuttle is going on the right direction you have to stop your wheelchair go to the right see the shuttle cock make the timing execute the stroke and that stroke should go to your given intended place afterwards you have to come back on the center get ready for the next rally and that shuttle is still returning if i would get the opportunity further i would definitely show you all these uh, nail biting videos of wh wheelchair 1 and wheelchair 2 and that will show you the real enthusiasm and the strength they are macho men see the wheelchairs they are using it's also carries a lot of weight and continuously is rowing a wheelchair i have seen blisters in the hand of my wheelchair athletes or blisters padne ke baad bhi kisi ko rukte nahi dekha hai maine in any way they are not less than in any of the athletes they are the real strength and real power of the game i salute to them these wheelchair athletes this is the structure of uh, that court i have tried to make a animation figure on this and uh, this is a video i think video is the same so i think video will be wasting a time let me go back to the next class this is sl3 standing lower 3 in this class a player could have a minimum ampere it's, it's also less than the class which is sl4 so the impairment is like that like like i i have see uh, try to show you a picture of a player uh, that who is have, you are using this uh, artificial limb for this prosthetic also people are being using on that so uh, this is sl3 class having a more impairment and their movements are less than the players who are having uh who are playing in sl4 class i'll also come to the sl4 class and also also show you the video of this particular person with pramod also and this is the structure of their court in singles uh, the red is the service area and the blue one is the playing area for the match i'll show you a little video on that and in doubles it's it's same like able bodies there is no difference at all they have to cover the full court and the with the same rules and regulations no difference at all this is for the sl3 class and this is i have tried to make a, a, a this also animation animation animated but uh, i think it's difficult to show it on this slides i'll just take the opportunity to show you intricately about this later yes sir uh, gorav sir i'll be taking leave it's almost 4 right um, i have to be joining another meeting which is uh, an important one so right. everybody forgive me for today and wish you all the very best thank you gorav sir for such a lovely presentation and all our guests who have joined us uh, so please continue and before i leave I, i once again make a request that the gadgets and the equipments you are joining in with please name them with your name it becomes it becomes easy for us to locate you when we want you on the screen and also please leave your attendance chat room mein apna naam location and designation zarur likh ke jaiyega thank you so much sir please continue right thank you deepa ji for thank coming you. here and just boosting our morale thank you so much we'll take care okay so just uh, showing you a video for this sl3 uh, class so let me show you a video i think the screen may be small but uh, you can carry on the look this is the player playing with against pramod bhagat pramod bhagat is that indian player who is world number 1 and last year he got uh, arjuna award and he has also uh, top in the race not only from india from the world itself with a long margin and already 
almost qualified for Olympics. Nothing is left for him, although not announced officially. So this is a wonderful player. And in SL3 class, don't underestimate that this is a small court. Just imagine in this small court, you have to let the shuttlecock fall onto the court and to be dead, which is next to impossible. And we have seen the rallies not less than 90, 90 strokes in one. And you will that the athletes are bleeding onto the court in order to gain point. Don't go into that. The court is small. I again repeat, once you play, you have to take point within this small court and the rally goes so long. So we'll let you have a witness of these rallies and these uh, games, Asian games are uh, further. Let me brief you more about the next class. This is SL4 category, which is called as standing lower four. In this is class, there is comparatively less impairment in comparison to the SL3 class. They, they don't find equal problem in walking, in running as we they, as, a, as a player of SL3 class finds. Right, Sukant is a player who is a SL4 category player and uh, I have shared a picture of a player that who is having less impairment. This happens could, uh, due to any other reason it can happen. It can happen through polio, it can happen through uh, accident, it can happen by birth or it, it can be for by anything. So this is the class and let me tell you the way we are playing singles in the able body class Similar way, there is no difference of rule in SL4 class, whether it's a matter of service or it is a matter of playing the full court. The singles covers the same dimensions which is being used in the able body badminton. And the doubles carries also the same dimensions which are being used in able body badminton. So there is no difference at all. So nothing to inform you. Just you just get to know about this SL4 class having less impairment than SL3 class. This is the final match of Asian Games where we won the gold medal. So just have a look on, maybe small, but we have this rally. The player who is playing there is Tarun. So you have seen that this is the class and this is the standing upper class SU5. SU5 is the category where there is a problem with the upper limbs. And in this class also, there is no difference of rules, regulation or code dimensions from the able body athletes. The same rule which applies to the able body athletes comes to this class since they don't have any impairment in the lower part of their body. So this is SU5 means standing upper five category. This also carries, as I've told before, they, they follow the same dimensions which is applicable to the able body. So there is no difference at all. And uh, there is a video of SU5. The level is very high, whether of uh, male or female, the level is very high of playing this because they are not less than any other able body players. And I am aware that various SU5 players are performing outstandingly even in able body sports. There are Indonesians or many players who are already doing well in the part of their state teams and national teams also. So that level is very high in SL4 and SU5 class. And in fact, in SL3 class, as I told you that they may not be participating in able body event, but because of the less dimension of the court, it's very difficult to gain point and it's really a nail biting game whenever you see a SL3 singles or doubles match. This is the category which is recently, previously its name was Short Stretcher, SS6. But now recently it has been termed as SH6, Short Height 6. So this category is also the person who is coming under the category of dwarf, uh, dwarfism. So they, there is a uh, dimension of the full height and also the dimension of health are given in BWF uh, classification rules. And each doctor has to measure the height of a person along with the length of the arm 
to identify whether a person belong to this SH6 category or not. Here also, there is no difference of code dimensions. They have to follow the same rules and regulation and the scoring system, which are normally applicable to the able body class. This game also, I'll just definitely recommend you go to Google, go to YouTube and see the nail biting competitive matches of SSX players. The rallies are very high. You will see flying jet. Flying jet, dekha hai apne movie. You will see these SX6 persons flying and returning the shuttlecocks. And you will be again surprised to see their speed, their strength, their jumps. Krishna is one of the Indian players who is outstanding. Once I'll just, uh, it would be a very good, wonderful opportunity for each one of you once you get the opportunity to see the matches of SS6. Just sharing you, a, it's not an Indian players match, but still you can see the uh, little video. See the dive. Right, you have seen this video. So let me brief you about the equipments which we use normally in para badminton sports. I have also explained you about this wheelchair category class. And since they have problem with the lower area of the body, so that's why they used to use this wheelchair. And there are variety of wheelchairs, you know. It's also a very mechanical subject which is being involved in a sports like badminton. Now advancement is everywhere. We are talking about sports science. We are talking about the technology. We are talking about the infrastructure. And this is also one of the additional component of the sports that is mechanical engineering department. They work on the wheelchairs and these wheelchairs, you know, uh, th there is one wheelchair which you are normally using for your daily routines. And these wheelchairs are folding and they can, you can separate them and you can again join them. And their weight varies from even 20 kgs to 5 kg. Previously, Indian players were struggling for getting the good wheelchairs for us so that uh, we can also compete with the, uh, the players who are from abroad, who are well uh, prosperous in terms of infrastructure and facilities because their players were playing with the wheelchair which was only light weighted and only 5 kgs. Whereas our players were carrying on the wheelchairs which is 15 to 20 kgs. You can imagine just after playing 10, 12 points, it's very difficult for them to just recover their arm. Everything is very tight and it's very difficult. Very, they, they let them fatigue totally and it's very difficult to come back on court. But now uh, I, I, I just happy to mention you that there are supporters. Of course, besides Sports Authority of India, uh, Paralympic Committee of India, besides other, other national sports federations, we have also a few of the supporters that is Go Sports Foundation we have who are supporting us for various of uh, for uh, procuring these equipments. We have Olympic Gold Quest, OGQ is there who are supporting our players to uh, to just um, uh, to let them equip with the advanced uh, wheelchairs and, and prosthetics and uh, other equipments. We also have Wellspun with us. So, so this is the time has come when there was a time when we started there was no infrastructure. We don't have we did not have such support. We did not have uh, such uh, supporters and people were not coming in so much but I think the awareness has now spread around and people have started coming in and they have joined to support us now they are showing concern for the concern of the athletes and I'm, I'm very thankful that I, I just convey my thanks to all these supporters including Sports Authority of India so this is also the artificial prosthetic leg and crunches you can crutches you can see that uh, the players are using so this is a class uh, which needs some prosthetic limbs. And I must brief you that hand prosthetic is not allowed in para badminton. You can see the wheelchairs, they are playing with the wheelchair and this wheelchair is different from the normal wheelchair being used. And you can see the SL3 one, one side, uh, this 
nature are going on and another side this slp going on these are the few pictures of equipments as i told you that prosthesis hands are not allowed in para badminton however the modification in shoes as uh, you know that uh, uh, the, the, there can be a difference of limb difference in the height of limbs of a player so they can use a customized shoe in order to gain the height to reach to the ground at a some level because uh, there there can be leg differences in the athlete also so they are allowed to have modification of use even pramod is using manoj is using tarun is using many are using modified shoes and uh, different type of these uh, leg prosthetics in uh, para badminton in especially in uh, su5 category as hand category a person is allowed to have uh, this tie up his hand because sometimes this hand is not working because of paralysis or some other uh, uh, complexities so the, they are allowed to tie up their hands in the body so that they can uh, easily play and this hand should be in control this is the individual event we have all sort of events which are there in able body uh, able body badminton we have men singles we have women singles we have men doubles we have women doubles we have mixed doubles however there are some rules which define the doubles event singles it's common it's same but in doubles there there has to be a combination of class which is also an intricate subject which we should clarify later you definitely please put your questions in the chat box we will record those questions and we will really get back to you and whenever we get the opportunity and we'll inform you about the same and definitely your intricate queries will be covered in the next session that i have told you this is there is a sum total of class which is being counted suppose in men doubles sl3 sl4 category the number 7 is the key factor it means to say that that the sl3 person can play with sl4 persons to join to make it to 7 points or it has to be less than 7 points it means the sl3 person and sl3 person can can play together and while mentioning this i cannot forget to mention that as i have told you before sl3 class is less is more impaired class who are having more problem in their leg and despite more impairment i am proudly share with you that our athlete sl3 athletes both are playing together instead of sl4 person pramod and manoj and they are gold medal of world gold medalist of world championship and they are presently world number 1 so we have such wonderful players with us similarly men doubles it's a open category having that uh, 10 numbers and there is no limitation on that they can combine with any of the class similarly women's doubles mixed doubles pair can also one male and one female can be combined but the numbers whether sl3 or su5 sl4 or sl4 sl3 or sl4 or whichever the category it is it must be less than 8 points this is the rule so this combination of classes i know it's little complex but definitely we will come back to you with subjective and integrated knowledge about the same and clear all your doubts now since the time is getting over so allow me to get back to you to give you a brief opportunity if you have any question on that and in the meantime you have your questions allow me to share with you uh the players who are now the role models for the india and who are now doing good at international level and they are with us i'll request sandeep uh, that pramod is with us uh, who is arjuna awardee and presently world number 1 he is retaining his rank since last uh, around 1 uh, year and uh, he is uh, out of the 13 events he has already cleared gold medal in 8 events and he is almost uh, if if the regulation remain the same he is already a person qualified for the paralympics so sandeep can you connect with pramod bhagat yeah. he is on the screen sir he is on the screen he is on the spotlight i have unmuted him pramod can you just uh, say a few words to all your uh, junior para athletes and the official and say a little message of short duration uh, first of all uh, good afternoon everyone and uh, thank you very much so so keep the chance to little uh, say about me and uh, about uh, our paraventon aur main main ye bolna chahunga ki ye jo paraventon journey hai main bahut kareeb se dekha hu kyunki main 2002 mein 2000 sorry 2006 mein main 
पैरामेडिकल में ज्वाइन किया था एज ए प्रोफेशनली और उसके बाद से मेरा जर्नी 2006 से स्टार्ट हुआ तो मैं जब हम जब मैं आया था फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्पेसिफिक गेम्स जब एशियन गेम अपने में एशियन गेम नहीं होता था स्पेसिफिक गेम्स 2006 में ज्वाइन किया था उसके बाद 2000 2006 के बाद 2010 एशियन गेम में कन्वर्ट किया गया पैरा पैरा ओलंपिक में एशियन गेम पैरा एशियन गेम्स के नाम से आया तो उससे पहले स्पेसिफिक गेम्स था तो उस वक्त से मैं आज तक का जर्नी बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट था क्योंकि पहले जो था बहुत कुछ फैसिलिटीज हमें नहीं मिलते थे जो कि बहुत सारे जैसे कि पैरा एथलीट के लिए स्पॉन्सर नहीं थे सोशल मीडिया में कुछ एक्टिविटीज नहीं था बहुत सारे समय बट अभी अभी देखा जाए तो बहुत कुछ चेंजेस हो चुका है बहुत सारे स्पॉन्सर हमें हमारे पास आ रहे हैं और हम अपॉर्चुनिटी दे रहे हैं और हमारा प्रॉपर डाइट डाइट प्लान हो रहा है ट्रेनिंग हो रहा है एवरी हो रहा है और जिसके कारण कि आज पैरा 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 ओलंपिक में बहुत सारे पैरा पैरा एथलीट ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं जो पहले जैसे बहुत कम थे अब बहुत सारे आ रहे हैं और आई होप 2020 में बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट मिलेगा इंडिया को और हम मैं हमारे कोच कोच सर के बारे में कुछ बोलना चाहूँगा क्योंकि पैरा बैडमिंटन देखा जाए तो दो से दो से स्टार्ट हुआ था और दो 10, 11 तक कुछ नहीं था जस्ट ना उसके पास नाम था ना कुछ था तब गौरव खन्ना सर जो है वो एंट्री किए और पैरा बैंडर का जो जो सीन है वो चेंज हो गया और आज हम जो देख रहे हैं हमारे पास पैरा एथलीट में बहुत सारे अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रहे हैं जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ गौरव सर का एफर्ट है और थैंक यू वेरी मच और थैंक यू संदीप जो मुझे आप अच्छी तरह से कम्युनेट कर रहे हैं बहुत बार देखा हूँ और लास्ट टाइम भी हम मिले थे जब अपना पैरा पैरा ओलंपिक का एक मीटिंग था तो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू एवरी मच थैंक यू सर एक क्वेश्चन आ रहा है मानवेंद्र पूछ रहे हैं कि जब उनको प्रैक्टिस करना होता है जब गेम होता है तो उनको अपना व्हील चेयर लेना ले जाना होता है या वो एसोसिएशन प्रोवाइड करती है मानवेंद्र जस्ट लाइक एज आई टोल्ड दैट इट हैज बिकम अ प्रोफेशनल स्पोर्ट्स तो आप जानते हो कि जब प्रोफेशनल स्पोर्ट्स में जाते हैं हम अगर कोई अरेंजमेंट भी कोई फेडरेशन आपको ठीक है नेशनल लेवल पे कोई अरेंजमेंट कर सकता है आपका फेडरेशन पर अगर करे भी नेशनल फेडरेशन में तो आप हमेशा एज अ बीइंग अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन जो व्हील होता है वो कस्टमाइज्ड होता है आपकी बॉडी से आपका कितना बैठने का एरिया है वो फोकस होता है वरना वो फिसलता है तो जितना भी व्हील होता है हर प्लेयर अपना लेके जाता है जैसे रैकेट अपना लेके जाता है शूज अपना लेके जाता है वो करके जाता है सो फार एज द फेडरेशन हाँ अगर आप अगर एशियन पैरा गेम्स को आप इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हो और आप वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हो इंडिया को और ओलंपिक की तैयारी कर रहे हो तो साई का जो टॉप्स डिपार्टमेंट है और साई की खुद डिपार्टमेंट है और नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स फेडरेशन है और मैंने नाम लिया है हमारे सपोर्टर्स है तीन तीन नाम लिया है मैंने उनका अभी तो दे आर वेरी वेरी गुड जस्ट अगर आपके पास टैलेंट है आपके पास एबिलिटी है तो डेफिनेटली यू विल गेन अ व्हील चेयर देर विल बी मेनी मेनी सपोर्टिंग हैंड्स विल कम टू यू राइट और संदीप हमारे पास मनोज सरकार भी हैं अर्जुन अवॉर्डी तो वो सर उन्होंने वीडियो नहीं मैं उनको कहता हूँ मनोज ने वीडियो नहीं ऑन किया है अपने नाम से ही है आ गया, आ गया। आ गया। so, मनोज आप उनको स्क्रीन पे लेंगे मैं करता हूँ सर हमारे बीच में मनोज सरकार हैं जो प्रमोद के पहले वर्ड नंबर वन थे और इन्होंने भी अपना रैंक डेढ़ साल तक वर्ड नंबर वन रिटेन किया फिर थोड़ा सा इंजरी के कारण ये डाउन हुए लेकिन अदरवाइज इन्होंने फिल फॉर्म रिगेन किया और अभी लास्ट में बैक टू बैक इन्होंने दो तीन गोल्ड इवेंट लगातार इंटरनेशनल इवेंट्स में जीते और अभी प्रमोद और मनोज बोथ आर पार्टनर डबल्स पार्टनर्स और दे आर वर्ड नंबर वन इन दिस डबल्स कैटेगरी ऑल्सो मनोज can you just uh, tell a little brief about uh, your little journey uh, of para badminton uh, hello na yeah. amanuj patel we can hear you uh, hello kya aap log sun pa rahe hain mujhe yeah, yeah, sun pa rahe hain manoj we can hear you please carry on uh, just a minute सर कोई तब तक सर एक के पूर्णिमा है वो पूछ रही हैं कि आंध्र प्रदेश में वो रहती हैं उनको वहां पे वो कहा जा सकती हैं बैडमिंटन प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए वो पैरा बैडमिंटन करती है सर 
पूर्णिमा जी अभी इस स्लाइड के एंड में आल शेयर माय नंबर विद एवरीवन और नहीं भी होगा तो आप लोग अपना चैट बॉक्स में डाल देना और आफ्टर वर्ड्स आवर टीम विल जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक अ डेटाबेस ऑफ ऑल दीज प्लेयर्स और पर्सन हु आर हैविंग क्वेरीज and uh, we will advise you on that because the paralympic committee of india ho chahe badminton association of india hai we have branches everywhere so sir, uh, uh, there, hello there is, a, there is an another question sir from uh, uh, that the deep have wo bol rahe hain ki covid 19 ke dauran athletes kaun kaun se challenges face kar rahe hain satr deep hai sir wo देखिए आपका क्वेश्चन इट्स 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 अ वेरी ब्रॉड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड कोविड 19 आई हैव नॉट सीन एनी ऑफ द डिप्रेशन इन एनी ऑफ द एथलीट एटलीस्ट मैं पैरा बैडमिंटन के प्लेयर से डायरेक्टली टच में हूँ हमारे पैरा बैडमिंटन एथलीट्स का कोई भी शेड्यूल कम नहीं हुआ है और मैं चाहूंगा कि मनोज इस बात का जवाब दे देंगे कि आप एज एथलीट कोविड नाइन्टीन के कारण क्या हो रहा है आपको क्या कमी आ रही है जी सर इसका आंसर मैं देना चाहूंगा फर्स्ट मोस्टली गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल Uh, बहुत अच्छा लगा आज का सेशन और यहाँ पे थोड़ा नेट का इश्यू है तो अगर स्लो चले वीडियो तो प्लीज माफ कर दीजिएगा uh, जैसे कि अभी एक पर्सन ने पूछा कि कोविड 19 के दौरान आप घर पे क्या करते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं ये बताना चाहूंगा कि कोविड 19 के दौरान मुझे नहीं लगता कि मेरे लाइफ में uh, मतलब उतना कुछ चेंजेस आया इवन मैं ज्यादा हैप्पी हूँ तो मैं चाहूंगा कि आप सब पहले तो खुश रहे अगर आप खुश रहेंगे तो आपका दिमाग चलेगा तो फिर आप और वर्कआउट कर सकते हैं फॉर आप फैमिली से रिलेटेड वर्कआउट कर सकते हैं आप अपने फिजिकल से रिलेटेड वर्कआउट कर सकते हैं आप अपने ड्रीम्स देख सकते हैं तो आप थोड़ा सा खुश रहिए फैमिली को टाइम दीजिए सेकंड थिंग्स अगर आप किसी चीज के लिए प्रोफेशनल है तो बहुत सिंपल सा है कि शेड्यूल बनाइए और आप उस शेड्यूल को जरूर फॉलो करें अगर आप उस शेड्यूल को फॉलो करते हैं तो डेफिनेटली मेक श्योर कि आपकी जो प्रॉब्लम है वो खत्म हो जाएगी और जैसे कि आ, मैं एक छोटा सा एक एग्जांपल दूंगा जैसे कि आ, मेरे लाइफ से रिलेटेड वो ये है कि आ, ये सब मेरी एक रिक्वेस्ट है आप सबसे कि जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स हम अपनी लाइफ में फेस करते हैं जो भी अब तक चाहे हम कुछ हैं कुछ नहीं है कुछ बन पाए कुछ नहीं बन पाए उसके अकॉर्डिंग मेरा सिर्फ एक रिक्वेस्ट है सभी लोगों से कि आप जो भी अपनी लाइफ में प्रॉब्लम फेस करते हैं वो एक सर्कल होता है तो आप उस सर्कल में एक कट लगाइए और वो कट आप लगा सकते हैं क्योंकि आपने वो प्रॉब्लम फेस करी है तो मेरा एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर आप वो सर्कल में कट लगा सकते हैं तो इसका मतलब आपके जूनियर्स आपके साथी लोग वो प्रॉब्लम फेस नहीं करेंगे जो प्रॉब्लम आपने फेस करी है और अगर ऐसा करते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि जो हमारी जो प्रॉब्लम चलती है सर्कल उसकी सर्कल इसी के साथ में एक और चीज जैसे की अपने शेयर करना चाहूंगा रिलेटेड टू फिजिकल वर्कआउट जब हम कुछ नहीं थे तब हमने कुछ नहीं सोचा कि हमें ये मिलेगा ये मिलेगा ये बॉडी सपोर्ट करेगी ये सपोर्ट करेगा तब भी हमने मेहनत करी आज हम क्यों सोच रहे हैं कि सब लोग हेल्प करेंगे सबका दायरा होता है सब लोग हेल्प करने के लिए आगे आते हैं लेकिन प्रॉब्लम में हमें अपने आप को फेस करना होता है तो अपने आप आगे आइए और अपने आप सब कुछ करिए ये कोविड नाइन्टीन के साथ जीना सीखना पड़ेगा हमें और हम इसको सीख के रखेंगे जय हिंद जय भारत Right, Manoj has told you about his uh, little bit brief and told you about uh, little of his feelings and uh, whatever he feel about uh, life. Sir, there is a, sir, last question. There is an interesting question in the chat box. Somebody asked, I don't know the name. Uh, what is the difference between able body badminton and para badminton? I told you in the beginning. If you have joined in the beginning, that badminton is a sports which is started at in the mid of 19th century. The name was battle door and cedar park. it started at pune and the same story is there for badminton it is just a sports which is being played by the physical impaired person and now it is termed as para badminton the the terminology is as simple as that my many of the para athletes are participating in able body event and performing outstanding so there is no difference at all para badminton is just a different structure because depending upon the classification and physical impairment they have categorized the players and allowed them to compete with the same type of impairment level and they have framework the rules and regulation and a scoring system for them so that they can set up a sporting competition atmosphere for that particular player so ideally there is no difference of para badminton and badminton para badminton is just a sports badminton sports being played by the physical impaired persons with little modification of rules so that the competition level can be decided equally and uniformly right yes sir okay 
so allow me to just conclude uh, this meeting uh, i have i don't know uh, mr prabhakar rao ji also with us uh, i could not find him uh, since long and mr anandeshwar pandey ji also mai aapko bhi nahi dhoond paya aap log uh, indian olympic association or badminton association of india se yahan aaye the but somehow i could not find you otherwise everyone wanted to seek your blessings aur prabhakar rao ji ka message aaya abhi abhi so uh, can you say can you see galaxy galaxy Galaxy. S20. अभी अभी किया उन्होंने? वो ही है। वीडियो वीडियो करने को बोलो उनको। अनम्यूटेड नाउ सर गैलेक्सी एस टेन एस ट्वेंटी आ गए क्या ओके एनी वे वो आ रहे हैं जब तक मैं आपको ब्रीफ करता हूँ और आ रहे राइट ही इज डूइंग ही इज जस्ट कमिंग ऑन ऑन बोर्ड विद वीडियो मैं आपको बता दू प्रभाकर राव जी इज अज ऑल्सो अ वेरी रिलीजियस पर्सन अ ब्रदरली सॉर्ट ऑफ पर्सन एन ऑफिस बियर ऑफ बैडमिंटन एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया and presently the chairman of uh, para badminton for bi aap unko screen pe lenge kya sandeep sir he he is on the screen sir he is on the screen ah yeah okay. yeah okay. i cannot see yeah. okay right hello okay so uh, uh, prakarao ji aap kya apni blessings denge aapko hello everyone good evening uh, to aap sabhi ko mera namaskar Uh, Mr. Gaurav and Deepa Ma'am, as I have missed because of uh, there is a uh, device problem, so that so a lot of problem is coming. All the boys and everyone is doing very well for the para para badminton. Even myself also at the same motive, same thing to bring the the uh, up in the country and everything. Everything is going very smoothly in para para badminton. The one thing is the guys and everyone that everything will be fair. indeed is there now the present situation and only one thing cannot be indeed that is the waiting thing. So we have to wait and wait and watch smoothly and very uh, patiently. This is the all the best for the everyone and you may especially Gaurav and Deepa Ma'am and every we is conducting like this type of the encouragement and each and every player my blessing and each and every one is my good wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Pravagar, by sir, so much yes, for sir. attending sure. and joining. And, uh, uh, this time I have some problem. Then next time I will join nicely because my I have to. Uh, Uh, device is uh, giving some problem so that okay thank you no problem no problem everything is very good so yeah, just to conclude the point i have to submit to you all first the problems which you are mentioning here whatever the queries you are we are definitely going to answer please put them on record in the chat box we will get back to you on the queries later regarding the para badminton fraternity i have to tell you that this is the fraternity of the wonderful people wonderful person around who are so helping in terms of the socially capable capable and status we have engineers with us we have scientists with us we have officers we have doctors we also have an is officer so para badminton is a fraternity which is the sum total and the combination of various dignitaries and personalities i must have to tell you the point of manoj who has told you about the positivity let me tell you everyone there is a current crisis which is not only for india but for around the world it's a pandemic we all have to join together to face this tough situation and to keep a strong thought in our mind that this curse is going to get over very soon we have to understand before complaining that there are priorities we can talk about sports it's very easy to talk about complaints we can talk about the rights we can talk about the sufferings but we should analyze ourselves as a citizen of this country that what are the priorities of the country have 
there are priorities we are struggling with other social problems we have malnutrition we have unemployment we have other structures so definitely we have to be patient because sports authority of india has a definite plan they are very active they are doing a lot they have a wonderful professional structure infrastructure to proceed our sports minister kiran rijiju sir our dg pradhan sir and everyone whether the secretary sir and everyone has got a four sided plan a long term vision towards the development of sports over the country and there is a vast difference in the performance in asian games and olympic games and the world championship and this proves that there is there is a phenomenal improvement in the performance and we have now supporters with us so there is nothing to complain we have lot of good things with us and now to conclude this meeting i need to tell you all thank you so much for joining this meeting you have stayed us for one hour you have learned about para badminton please join our for uh, fraternity and welcome to this wonderful and the beautiful world of para badminton most welcome stay in touch stay home stay active and stay safe thank you so much sandeep deepa ma'am is here sir she wants to say deepa ma'am is here wah deepa ji please can you please come back and conclude this meeting with your yes, wonderful yes so we time. have finished with the presentation yes we have finished all the okay any questions that had to come up we have done with the questions too okay so i was basically here just to say um, thank you gorov sir uh i i had finished with the other meeting so i joined if it was uh, still there but yes um uh very happy to um have this presentation from you and we look forward to another session tomorrow so let us all meet again at 3 pm tomorrow till then be safe be happy take care please continue to follow all the rules and regulation for covid 19 we need to i uh, understand that precaution is always better than cure pramod i had to say hello to you and I, that is the reason i came back thank you for making us proud and uh, parul you. also has been a personal friend uh, we have done cooking together when we could not in fact not together parul used to cook for us and uh, we all used to eat what she used to get <laughs> we were together at several times um, and so this is something which is really amazing the journey of sports and uh, being able to interact with such legends it's such an honor and i'm somewhere i feel fortunate that disability has introduced me to a different dimension uh, in my life which is a very purposeful dimension which is a very inspirational and a very self satisfying dimension so kudos to the world of para sports it has revived me and it has revived many and we will hear such lovely stories tomorrow again thank you everybody good evening